This is the fourth time uh, Elixir Conf in Europe has been, has been held. The conference is aimed at uh, people interested, functional programmers interested in the la Elixir language. We have uh, a wonderful selection of, of great speakers who are, are talking on all sorts of subjects. Georgina's talk about uh, solid principles in uh, Elixir was ju just delivered excellently. I decided to draw upon my experience of being mainly a Java and object-oriented programmer and see if some of the design principles would fit with the Elixir code base and that drew me to a talk here today. In object-oriented landscape there's a lot of um, design principles that are out there and patterns and some are bad and you don't want to use them or they're overused but there is a set of guidelines that you can pick from. I'm here at the conference today for two reasons. One is to I guess here talks on topics that I'm kind of interested in but have never really done any real research into or that I've done a bit of research into but still don't understand so I guess to come up with uh, new ideas and then secondly that community aspects like I really enjoy meeting people from the community people I talk to so I am one of the organizers of the uh, Elixir London meetup and also of the Elixir Slack group so there's a huge number of people that I speak to on a regular basis that I actually have never never managed to meet before there's something for everybody. There's no specific uh, specialization that this is for like experienced developers or people that have been using, the, that have long time experience with Elixir. I think it's for everybody. And even if you don't understand some concept, there's always something to learn. There's always something to, to take home and to just go and research about. What I see is that uh, it's a constant uh, improvement on the quality of the, of the talks. So, like three years ago, uh, it was like, yeah, how Elixir is a great thing to try out, and now it's how to do it right. My talk today is about how to design and implement a task queue system in Elixir. So using GenStage and also using Postgres. I would say that each language has its strengths and weaknesses. Just as the strengths of Elixir, especially in state management, and in uh, cluster management, and in, in error recovery, do, uh, do make it the most appropriate language for the things that we're doing. When you leave, I'm already now uh, looking forward to getting home so that I can get back to the keyboard and start writing some things and, um, and even uh, thinking about submitting a talk next year so that I can get up on stage and, and say a few things about the ideas and, and you know, projects that I'm working on as well.